Okay. So I think... Okay, so the goal is still to get to the Sunna City next. I think I'm gonna do one more cycle and then go to bed. And that has to be the control module. Can I just chase it down? Or oh, probably not. There it goes. Uh, there it is. See if we can get to it. Maybe it's the probe. This might not be what I set out to do, but it's important work that needs to be done. Okay, went out of the solar system, so that doesn't work. So that must be the probe. Oh, I don't want to go to Pearl Harbor, that's, that's incorrect. I'm gonna go to the Hourglass Twins. And I want to hurry up this time because it's not. This way it doesn't work. Or just picking around for too long doesn't work. That's very interesting to know that it's not possible to get to catch up with this thing. I wonder why they thought, oh, just goodbye, son. Son just disappeared. Look at that. Oh, we saw that when we flew out of the solar system with the uh, with the shuttle. We couldn't tell which one was ours. Because the sun just disappeared. I hope the autopilot doesn't kill me this time because it looks like we're coming in pretty hot. Well, shot target, so. Okie dokie, let's find the... Let's find the crash site, which is right here. Oh, the... Shouldn't be on the equator or... land here on the beacon and let's read what the new stuff is that we found gravity cannon frozen on my show okay uh the nomai the Nomai landed on the interloper not long after its arrival in the solar system. The shuttle's equipment heard strange energy readings coming from somewhere beneath the surface. Clary, the Nomai who stayed behind, lost contact with the other two after they descended uh, below the interloper's surface. Really, I missed something there. The shuttle's equipment heard strange energy readings coming from somewhere beneath the surface. Two of the Nomai located a fissure in the ice on the interloper's sunward side. They descend, descended into inside to investigate. 
gravity cannon. I recall a Noir shuttle from the interloper. So I'm still missing something with the, to do with the shuttle. Interesting. This is new. High energy lab. The Ash Twin project was <clears throat> planned at the high energy lab. A building with large solar panels on a Ember Twin's equator. Yes, we know. We have seen that. We haven't gotten in it. Quantum Moon Locator. A Nomai device created to track the Quantum Moon's location. The Nomai hypothesized that the Quantum Moon might be <clears throat> a form of macroscopic quantum mechanics. The Quantum Moon travels to a total of five locations. Quantum Moon sometimes disappears, possibly to an unknown sixth location. Uh, the Nomai Amber Twin observed a moon that would uh, disappear when no one was watching. Uh, um, there's something new. Sunless City. I found a trail marker for the Sunless City, but the path is blocked. Yeah, we saw that. Missing anything else? No, I think we're good. Let's go and let's go right up again. Please. No, I don't. I forgot. I started chasing down that thing right away, and then I uh, that that thing right when I spawned, so I. Basically, I uh, didn't put on my suit and I jumped out and realized that I had didn't have my suit on. Okay, that's absurd. Don't yeah, know. So this is the probe and I didn't see where the locator module went. So... I'm sorry, I don't remember what I was talking about. Oh yeah, I forgot to put on my spacesuit, pretty much. Let's go to the hour class twins. Coming in pretty hot. No, I think I can make it. Okay, let's find the shell. Should be somewhere close to this thing. There it is. Uh, not the shuttle, the, the, the escape pod. That's actually what I meant to say. I do have a spacesuit on, that's pretty sweet. Helps with not dying. So let's go to the Sunless City first. Should be accessible from here, I hope. Yeah. We found an enormous cavern that, uh, at the end of this passage that appears promising. I believe we could structure a long-term chapter there. So let's go there, because that's probably where we want to be. It's probably the Sunless City. Hope I don't get crushed again. The path to the shelter site is somewhat convoluted, so follow the instructions ahead closely. To reach the shelter site, walk forward until you meet the sandfall at the pit, and turn left. Continue to the room filled with rock, with rock column formations and climb 
upward through the opening above them. To reach the shell of the slide, walk forward until you meet the sand wall to the pit, then turn left. And uh, continue to the wind. The sand here is rising, so you must be cautious but swift. Okay, so where's the sand fall? Go to the sand fall and then left. To the... There's a rock formation, climb up. Okay, so this should mean I'm on the right way. Cautious crossing the chasm ahead. The bridge Malloy and I crafted will do its job, but it isn't strong. Once on the far side, look for the tunnel behind, uh, hidden behind the falling sand. Follow it and you'll reach the shelter side. You're doing well. There's only a little farther left to go until uh, left to go until you reach the shelter side. You can rest here uh, there. Hurry before the sand comes. Where does this go? That should be the shelter side that we just saw. This is amazing. Look inside the cave. How did this come to rest there? Here. We haven't encountered others in these caves. I think this is a rare find. From what we can see, Coleus and I believe the specimen must be very old indeed. Imagine what we might learn if we could examine it. We both agree it's unlikely this dry planet is uh, this horrorous place of origin, especially, especially considering what we observed during the vessel's evacuation. Clearly this hole is too small for it uh, to have fit through hypothesis. This is another entrance to this cave. If there is, Coleus and I will find it. We can't leave the value, this valuable information undiscovered. An update. We need to find a way inside quickly because when I returned here to search for the entrance to the cave, there were children playing on the specimen. Okay. Oh boy. So. It's an anglerfish. Seems to be dead, but it's uh, its lure is still brightly colored, or it's still fluorescing. So I don't know if the sand ever fills up in here. There's many dead dead Momai here. Very easy to get lost in here. There's a door over there. Question is how do we get into that door? Hmm. 
Maybe, oh, maybe we need to go below and up on the other side because it should be on the other side of this place. But I don't think I can get in there any way through here. That's fine. Hope I find some oxygen somewhere. Because apparently space cactuses don't produce oxygen, but space trees do. Yeah, I'm just going around in circles. That is not what I want to do. Oh, okay, I found some trees. Should we build the sun station to power uh, power the Astrum project? Are there other ways to gener uh, generate this level of power? Theoretically, yes. Practically, no. I can't imagine discovering them in our lifetime. I understand this proposal is unsettling, but the sun station must be built if we if we hope to complete the Ashtrin project. I almost can't comprehend this is being suggested seriously. The purpose of the sun station goes against every standard we hold ourselves to and everything we believe in as a species. Uh, unsurprisingly, idea, I disagree. We're punishing a possible, uh, we're pushing a possible new technology further than ever before. That, in my experience, is the defining characteristic of our species. If we fail and the probability of this is not insignificant, we will without question destroy ourselves, all life here and the rest of the star system. I wish to protect these species. Potential annihilation of an entire star system is too severe a cost. We shouldn't build the sun station, no matter how badly we want the knowledge that comes with it. Fear and failure is a poor reason not to try. I believe if we're cautious, the sun station will work. I believe in Pi, Pi, Pope. I'm deeply honored. Idea, I comprehend our position. However, if we aren't all uh, certain the sun station will not cause destruction once we've built it, then I won't support the station's use. Okay. Wonder where, how to get into the sun station. I haven't seen it yet. Might be, it's probably inside the core of the sun. Anglerfish Overlook District. Stepping Stone District. High Energy Lab Trailhead. Not turn that on. This is Eye Shrine District. Okay, so if we want to go to the Anglerfish, it's up here, I think. Oh. Um. No, this is just the overlook for the anglerfish. So that doesn't mean much. It's so large in here. So much stuff. So I think. Well, maybe not. We're meeting the fossil fish cave uh, in the fossil fish cave to play the game. If you're too big to climb through the anglerfish overlook hole, you'll have to go the long way. Um, but it isn't far. Go to the stepping stone cave, and then head up to the fossil fish into the fossil fish cave. I tried to get to the fossil fish through the stepping stone cave, but I couldn't find the entrance. Where is it? Target can't, uh, Lamy says this. Target can't fit through the anglerfish overlook a hole anymore because he grew bigger. He's taller than Levi now. 
Who cares? Alex is still the tallest. Remember to feed the fossil fish first. If you go to the anglerfish overlook and throw a light into its mouth, we'll show you the way. Okay. Interesting. So I need to go to the overlook path. It's just so much to explore down here. Not the overlook, what's it called? So this is Seving Stone Caves, that's where I need to go. Okay, and to find the right way, I first need to go up. And shoot my, my little probe into the mouth of the anglerfish. And oops, that's it, I need to go up all the way. Need to shoot my probe into the mouth of the anglerfish to illuminate where the way through is. That's not a good idea. We're doing the same thing twice, it's not gonna help. Okay, so it's in the mouth, I should be able to see where I have to go now. I wonder how much time I have left. Probably not that much. The yeah, the sand is definitely rising here too. Okay, so that's where the anglerfish is. Maybe not. So I didn't see another source of light. I'm not sure. Maybe there is another source of light and just missed it. Yeah, that doesn't seem right. I think I'm just back in town. Let's see. I think I shouldn't be here anymore. Oh, there's the anglerfish. Oh, Mr. Anglerfish. So I got to it. Whoever was it, uh, whoever was it when it, when we ended last time is the anglerfish. Rule change, the anglerfish now has to wear a blindfold and do not peek. The rest of us, the little fish, line up against the wall. When the anglerfish says go, the little fish sneak across the other, to the other side. The anglerfish catches you, you're eaten. I wonder if that's just what it is or if you have, if it, if it gives any additional information. Guess last little fish to be caught is the new anglerfish. The old anglerfish gives the new anglerfish a blindfold and belongs uh, and, uh, and becomes a little fish. Why are we changing it? It's too hard uh, if you can't see anything. Our power says real anglerfish are blind, so you have to wear a blindfold. The rule stands. Rule update. It's okay if younger kids don't wear a blindfold when they're it. The rest of us will still wear it for scientific accuracy and to make the game more even. So basically, don't know if there's anything else to find here. There is. Anglerfish study. An update. This is Kalia speaking. An update. Malore, while I was here making sketches of the anglerfish, I observed the children I saw earlier playing here again. They've added a rule to their game that uh, incorporates our research. It's wonderful. 
I'm entirely delighted. It's never too early to appreciate biology. The long growth protruding from its head is bioluminescent. Perhaps it used to be this growth to attract prey, a lure. This anglerfish digest uh, this anglerfish's digested track suggests death by starvation. That's not nice. Visually, the specimen appears to be of the same species as the anglerfish in dark bramble. Uh, we don't believe it originated from this planet. Okay, that would be very interesting. So the anglerfish have been here before, um, even before the Nomai went there, and I'm, I. It would be interesting. It will be interesting to find out if the anglerfish in Dark Bramble are even are still alive, or if they're fossils too. Guess we'll see. Okay, so I haven't explored everything, but I can't really go back now because I'm running out of time. Anglerfish fossil. And my children used to play the ga a game here. One player was the anglerfish and wore a blindfold. The rest of the children Little fish lined up against the wall, one wall. When the anglerfish said go, the little fish had to sneak across to the other side. Blindfold rule was added because real anglerfish are blind. The adult Nomai weren't, were delighted to see the children incorporate the research into the game's rules. A Nomai, the Sunless City. A Nomai city built into the walls of a huge underground cavern. The city is divided into is divided vertically into four districts. The Nomai debated building a sun station in order to power the Ash Twin project. Several Nomai uh, opposed this cons its construction, um, arguing that failure could result in the destruction of the solar system. The Nomai debated building a sun station in order to power the Ash Twin project. Okay, so I think that's everything new. But I think I might be able to get back into the city. I don't know. Not this way, though. Oh, come on. Fine, I'll just fly there with the plane. With the, the spaceship. Nope, that's not where we go. Oops. Uh, is this where I got out, maybe? Wait, no, you know what? I could actually check if I can find what it is they want me to find in the uh in the shuttle because i'm definitely missing something I feel quite stupid because i don't know probably something obvious let's see oh well that's probably well, I don't know. Might be enough time. So, oh no, don't want to do that. Don't know what the gravity cans do. Well, I do know what they do, but I don't know what they're for. Well, it's probably for propelling the shuttle. But I don't know what they're in the game for, basically.
don't really think I can keep it's really hard to keep uh, to get at the planet but it should get easier once it comes around don't have that much fuel left Yeah, I'm probably going to die in space again. I don't think... I'm going to be honest, I don't think there's much time left in the universe anyways. <laughs> yeah, I can't catch up. I'll try. Okay, now I'm getting closer to them, but I'm like, I can't really counteract like this, and that means I'm not aligned with the planet. I can't uh, counteract that. It's too. Um, my thrusters aren't powerful enough. So after the after all the 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 what's it called sand goes from the from the ember twin to the ash twin. It's only a little bit time left. I'm I'm thinking about if I should wait for the supernova because it's cool, or if I should. Just use up my oxygen. There seems to be a, a still. Still seems to be uh, sand going from one way to the from from the Ember Twin to the Ash Project. So I guess I'll just use up the rest of my oxygen. Yeah, whatever. Oh, that's not a very nice ending, but thank you very much for watching. And I'll see you in the next, uh, next time I stream this game or on the next episode. If you enjoyed, please give me a follow and or a subscription on youtube whatever you want and i'll see you in the next next time i stream this game goodbye